Jasmine Gino got married, and guess what? Gino is turning out to be a terrible person. Really? Who would have guessed? <laughs> So Jasmine Gino comes from the 90 Day Fiance show that we've covered a lot in the past. And they're, they're actually a couple we've looked at quite often. Gino is like this Squidward looking nerdy dude. He's like very self-conscious about his bald head. Uh, Jasmine, she's like an OnlyFans Brazilian you know, model. Like she's a beautiful woman. Uh, and they have like the weirdest relationship of any reality TV show I've ever seen. Like, I, I, I don't know if she's like so damaged that she thinks her relationship is like good or, or she's like worried that she's going to be left because she, she talks about how she's been like been cheated on before in the past. And so and then she starts dating Gino, who is like far below her standard, right? Of what she could pull, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, the, the whole, their whole relationship has just been Jasmine like, yelling at Gino. Like, ah, what is wrong with you? You're ruining everything. <laughs> he gave her a toothbrush as a gift at one point and, and they made it. She, yeah, for Christmas. she threw it out <laughs> in the yard and they were so upset about it. And, uh, he gave her money to get like a dress or for a wedding, and she and said use that to get uh get get button plants. Yeah, they, they've gotten married now, that. so they've got. Well, fast forward through all that, they've gotten married, and Jasmine has a ten year old. She has kids. Does she have more than? She have two kids? I know they showed one on the episode that we watched because when she was like crying, she's like, "Oh, I gotta leave you, you know, but I'll be back or, or whatever." Yeah. They've been, they've married. Their their plan to bring the child over fell through and they're gonna to have to wait like two years and instead of like hiring a lawyer and somebody a professional to help them clean it all up and, and get it you know expedited Gino was just like nah yeah he's like he, he like just doesn't care all of a sudden it's like he's like it's not my kid it's not my problem kind of thing but it is you're married now right wow. so yeah uh oh but wow <laughs> we'll, we'll go through more of all that where, where, what have they been doing this whole time? Like, what have they been up to before the major drama started? I want you to make me see the stars in the tent. I'll make her see lightning. Hmm. <laughs> Really? Lightning, huh? Yeah, lightning in the tent. <laughs> they go on camping. Yeah. 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 Oh, Gino's laying back here. Oh. Got them toes out. Oh. <laughs> I love your face so much. She's about to suck on his toes, Do you like it? She's, oh, no. Bruh. There she bruh. is. <laughs> She's going in. Whoa, get She's those. going in on Gino. Get those nasty feet away from your mouth. <laughs> bruh, bruh. She don't care. She's she like ah! <laughs> In front of the camera crew. Yeah. Oh, Let's go. She's going in. Oh, my. I can't. I, I'm just skipping through this. I can't watch this. <laughs> you, ever seen that, you ever seen that clip? Uh, it's like someone's filming from their car and they're filming into like this white truck and some like the dude like grabs his wife's foot and just like sticks the whole thing in his mouth. He's just like, Whoa. <laughs> I mean, it is I freaking wild. It. Uh, he, the the dude eats her foot like a burrito, Dane. Ah, <laughs> they run oh, out the window. They're like, oh, dude. Oh, um, <laughs> I said my guy's gobbling her foot ankle deep. He's <laughs> getting it. That's what they've been up to, but okay. So, <laughs> so I got a news article. It's night day. Fiance Jasmine Gino learned they can't. It could take up to two years to bring her kid back to America, right? So the, uh, their lawyer revealed that due to Gino not putting the child on Jasmine's visa application, they'll not be able to come to the states for the time being, and it, and it can take up to two years to bring him over. So Gino just like didn't put the kid on the application, right? Oh wow. Maybe it was an honest mistake, or he just literally just doesn't think about anyone I, else except... Dude, how do you not think about uh, her child? I don't know. Right? right. You have to. You have to. Yeah. And apparently, they're trying to have a baby. They're trying a lot to have a baby, they revealed. And, and Gino says, practice makes perfect. You know, so it's just a classic story of this dude is... He's he's out kicked his coverage you know he's doing he he got his dream girl and now he's like a god he can just do whatever he wants to and you know like he's just becoming like a nasty dude it seems like and obviously if they're trying to have a kid together and he won't even like put in the effort to bring her current children right to them that's that's an awful sign yeah he I, it seems like he's treating the kids like like she's got like a, a dog that he, he doesn't want to bring well he she does have a dog and she brought her dog and he made a big deal about that too right. And like even the the section on they they circled this on Reddit the part that he would have filled out for the kid this big massive part he couldn't just accidentally miss it no it's it's a it's a pretty big section right there yeah it's, it is it's pretty sure massive is. It's, kind of, it's like half the god dang wow. sheet right there uh, but of course you know not everyone's the family is not all about it either like uh, Gino's cousin calls him out for it gonna take like two years 
Are you to serious? bring over her kids now. It's kids, so multiple, right. not just one. I totally understand how she feels. It's her kids, and I also feel bad that her kids aren't coming over here because I have a good relationship with them. Yeah, he completely understands how she feels, right? Completely. Yeah. So I didn't I fill out I, the part because... I just didn't fill out their part. Yeah. To put all this pressure on me, acting like it's all my fault, it's her children. Yeah. She's responsible to make sure all this is right as well. Wow. Yeah, that dude even like looked at him like, what? <laughs> what, what did you just say? What did you just say, dude? It's her fault? You're like, as her sponsor and now her husband, you know, you don't have any responsibility in this at all? Oh, okay. Baffling. All right. Sure, Gino. I don't feel like she appreciates what I did to this point. And I yeah, uh, brought her to America. I, said, I, I brought her from Panama to freaking wherever he lives in the middle of nowhere. You know? <laughs> Wisconsin yeah. or something. I forget where it is. Like whenever, yeah, the, and I bought her a bike. Yeah, when, when she gets there, she's like, "This place is like hell, like a cold hell." Like she was like shocked at where she was. It's not, yeah. a, not an upgrade for her. She was saying that I'm not fit to be a father because of this mistake. That's two years she's gonna miss out on. Eleven years old, the kid still wants to hug you and love you and cuddle with you and stuff. This cousin's haven't explained to Gino like what being a parent is like. The dude, right. because the dude like. Where's the empathy, right? Yeah, he just wants a pat on the back. I brought her to America so I could bang her and get my toes sucked all the time. Where's my appreciation? <laughs> right. So you see where she's like missing out on a certain part of the of her kid's life. Don't don't That's forget, it takes eight months anyway, even if you do it right, to get. To forget about oh, all okay. This. Well, that makes it better, Gino. You know. You know? Mm. That makes it way better. Is it? Well, you know, listen. It, it, it's gonna take eight months no matter what. Okay, so she's gonna have to miss out. She's gonna have to suffer either way. God, dude. Seriously, that's how you look at it? First of all, I don't have 5000 to pay for a lawyer. And Wait, you don't, you don't have that money? Yeah, I've already spent enough on the wedding itself. Yeah, it's priorities. He's like, I've already spent money on the, the wedding. Wow. I don't know, spent money on her kids and everything. And, 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 and. Yeah, this is being super nasty. You know, there's certain things that, that you want to spend money on in life. And I would say getting her kids over here is one of them. Yeah. 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 I like his cousin. Is that his cousin? I like him. Yeah. I'm and I'm telling you, you, I don't have $5,000 to pay for a lawyer. I'm going to do it myself. He's going to do it himself, Dane. <laughs> he did already. He's gonna, which is why they're not here. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's also quit his job at this point, too. Like, they're, he's made a bunch of money and he's quit his job. And yeah, he's, he's just, he doesn't yeah. want to bring, he just doesn't want to do it. It doesn't do anything for him. He's very selfish, obviously, right? It just doesn't get yeah. it, and it doesn't, like, do anything. It doesn't, it, like, his quality of life doesn't change any. So why would I spend money on that? If anything, it goes down because her kids are now here, and then he, yeah. you know, won't have his alone time with... Mm -hmm. Crazy, man. I want to get divorced from you. I don't want to yeah. be married to you, and I'm going back to Panama. Yeah, uh, they, they've been married. They, uh, I, think they, I think they're already married. They just haven't had the wedding because of, like, visa stuff. And it's like, okay, Gino, see ya. They're both like in this situation. Gino is definitely the bad guy. Like this is just crazy. But throughout the whole show, they are like both complete idiots. Like they are, they are just both oh, yeah, like yeah. psychotic. Uh, but like in this specific situation, like Gino is just dropping mm, mad, mad red flags all over the place, even more so than normal. Don't sit there and criticize me for all the hard work I'm that I've done. I'm not criticizing you, and it's not that we're talking about a fortune. You know what it. What do you mean the hard work he did? He filled out a document. He joined the show? What? What did you do? Like, I've been through this process. It it ain't, I mean, it's, it is, it is stressful because there's a lot of documentation and all that stuff like that, but it's like, whatever, man, just do it. What kind of, what kind of evil person you are? No, I'm not evil. I'm not evil at all. Do you I've been me? busting my ass to get you to this country. Gosh, dude. Yeah, that's it. That's that's crazy. I'm I'm also torn because I don't know if Gino's just like if he's just too dumb to say it, but like he definitely doesn't have the money because he quit his job a while back, right? He has enough money to quit his job and, and like I don't know, like with the lifestyle that she's gonna be expect moving to America, you know, it's You would think he'd keep it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, go back yeah, I'm not really it. too sure about that one. That one's weird. Well, that was the other thing is, you know, he was all willy nilly throwing money at vacations and everything else. Maybe he just doesn't have the money because I'm not paying for it. Right, bro, right. you can't. You're broke. Yeah. You're broke. Hey, bro, you've already dropped a bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, somebody, I was reading some of the comments and someone was like, why doesn't she just use the money that she's got from OnlyFans to pay for it? Like, everybody's just being pretty nasty about the whole thing. Uh, but it doesn't, like, glaze over the fact at all that 
Gino obviously doesn't care. He doesn't want this. You know, he doesn't want the no. kid. I mean, if he did, he would make it happen. You know, he only wants his own kid with her, dude. Like, I, I feel like that's that's the sign mm -hmm. when she said you're not fit to be a dad is because you're going to you're going to be very selfish and you just can't be like that. Hopefully they get a divorce and never see each other, see each other again, because I'm kind of just tired of Done with them it. in general. Like <laughs> we yeah. we fall like a lot of couples over the years. And like le these people have always been just super annoying of just of how next level reality tv dumb they are you know <laughs> yeah for real it's, just, it's painful man it's painful <laughs> let me know what you think about all that leave a like leave a comment do all that cool stuff if today's your birthday happy birthday so toast my friends love you see you next time Bye bye